Yeah, Rick has been an awesome player in the first years of wheelchair tennis. Um, he was one of the first quad division players. And um, Rick, I still remember him with his spiky blonde hair, a good looking young guy on the tennis court. And he, he brought quad tennis to, um, to the courts and being such an, a fantastic contribution to wheelchair tennis to make the sport available for anybody. Um, and Rick was inspirational by just the way he, he was on the court and off the court, uh, so verbal around and giving clinics and talking to other uh, people to get involved in wheelchair tennis. And he was just an, an admirable person. Yeah, I met Esra as a really, really young child. Uh, she got involved in wheelchair tennis at a young age uh, through camps and my husband still then was the national coach for Holland and he saw the talent of Esther at a young age and he got her involved quickly um, and he got me involved as well um, with uh, with Esther playing with her and getting her involved, her involved in trainings um, and the last year I played tennis in 97 Esther was 16, and by that time, having played around seven years already, she was ready for the international tour. So my last year, I played with Esther, and uh, we played doubles internationally. We introduced her on the tour, and at the end of that year, I literally gave my records to Esther. I said, Esther, now it's your turn. And three years later, she became the first, uh, she became world champion for the first time, and Paralympic champion in 2000. So um, it's been really, really fantastic to see her develop and to see her um, grow into the sport and because of the sport as a person.